step 13. Step 13 is removing redundancies. So what is a redundancy? A redundancy, a redundancy is a, an uh, unnecessary uh, form of logic, whether predecessor or successor. This naturally happens when we go through the process that I've shown you here, where we're creating predecessors and successors uh, within the project schedule. If you use my advice by signing one to two predecessors and one to two uh, successors, we'll reduce the amount of redundancies we have in the system. So you're, you'll have to basically look at each activity and determine if we have more than one or two predecessors or successors and uh, that will tell you whether you have any redundancies in the system. Now this takes time. Um, look at the activity I have highlighted there, exterior stud framing and sheathing. Okay, You see we have one predecessor but we have six uh, successors. Now they all may be legitimate you know but we need to go through and we need to look in detail to make sure they're legitimate. So you know we'll say okay exterior stud framing sheathing the next one is interior stud framing. Does that make logical sense? Well, let's go to interior stud framing. And you can see that that is the only predecessor it has. So we'll go back and we'll do the same thing over again. Um, exterior, install exterior siding. Well, you see there's a lot of different predecessors here. Um, exterior stud siding delivery, that's okay. Exterior stud framing, that's okay. Roof insulation. So that, you know, there may be a, maybe we need to remove that predecessor there. Uh, install exterior HM, HMF. Now, if you look at it, um, we went, that was actually a predecessor or successor to uh, the, you know, activity we were, we were going through before, exterior stud framing sheathing. So if we remove that, you know, we, uh, you know, we could potentially, um, reduce a redundancy there. So let's go back and let's look at and make sure we still have a closed network. So that was the activity. And you see we actually removed a relationship there but we shouldn't have because we, now we have an open network. We don't want that. So um, uh, so we're going to go ahead and add back in a successor. Okay. So that was uh, Oh, you know, you see this here. I was trying to click on the same activity for, for uh, that has a predecessor and won't let me let me let me pick it. So it's kind of helps you stay out of trouble. Sometimes you'll double click and you're like, ah, that doesn't make sense, you know. So, but um, so you want to go through every acti every activity. You want to look at the set of successors and predecessors. Um, we want to uh, make sure that we understand this is a very important step but a very difficult one. Um, uh, we have to be conscious that multiple different successors or predecessors on each activity will create um, some unnecessary redundancies that place constraints in the schedule. And as we go through the process of go through the process of of, uh, of doing schedule updates and we're and the software is rescheduling the the, the uh, schedule, you'll see that these constraints will, you know, will actually uh, limit you and it creates some um, unrealistic, um, you know, uh, expectations for the future. So we want to remove, you know, removing your redundancy is all about just removing unnecessary logic, okay? So how do we do that? We go activity by activity and we just, you know, go through Every, if we have more than one to two predecessors or one to two successors, we go through and just verify that they're necessary. Now, as we went through the one uh, before, you saw that it was necessary in order to have a closed network. So that covers um, removing redundancies from the project schedule. We talked about what redundancies are, which are unnecessary logic. We looked at an example. Um, we we recognize the fact that we have to be conscientious when we um, put logic in and what the impact it has and we have to understand the implications in the future and at the end of the day removing redundancies is about removing unnecessary logic that covers step number 13. Yeah.